Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Blasphemous 2, a, uh, I, I'm going to say kind of like a proper gothic horror, uh, Metroidvania made by the Game Kitchen, and uh, I guess courtesy of Good Old Games, who's kind enough to send us, uh, send us, send me a copy of this game to cover. I uh, didn't get access to it until kind of late le yesterday, and I was just like, eh, I want to go bed. So, a little late on this, but there's so many games coming out this month, it's impossible for me to, get, to be on top of them all. In the heart of every, in the heart, everything, in the heart, everything takes root, solidarity, so, solitarily, footprints without companions are left behind. Sorry, the font is kind of hard for me to read. The eternal dawn of our penances heralds its imminent end. Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. May the miracle bear witness to this oath. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. Wounded by the silence of this secluded existence. And then, as the city of the Blessed Name rose up, Born on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great heart could be heard emanating from the clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell, raised higher than any other, enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. I feel like this is one of those games where you almost don't want to try and understand it because the more you think about it, the more you're just going to like, ugh. Like, I had that same reaction to Grime. Never finished it. I, that's that's the sad story that I have with so many of these games that it it gets hard and I don't finish it. So, like, last, uh, last Blasphemous game, I got messed up by the Frozen Cliffs or whatever they're called. Uh, which absolutely just wrecked me because I couldn't, I just couldn't do the platforming. Alright, press triangle, consume a bile flask, recover vitality, they are refilled by kneeling before, create do. Now if I remember right, uh, Game Kitchen is Spanish. Now do we have anything else? I look a little bit more monstrous than last time. Okay, so I can have a flail, I can have two swords, I can have a regular sword. Let's grab the flail. Not a lot of games give you a flail, though it does have a really slow charge up time. There's no charge attack on the dual swords. Yeah, do we have anything else? No. I'm gonna try the flail. I might regret this decision. I'm assuming he's just the training dummy to cho choose your wit uh, choose your weapon. Thou hast chosen thine companion on this pilgrimage. Only the miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Yeah, I'm just gonna have the weird flaily thing. So the weapons are probably still out there. Maybe, maybe not. Am I really just rolling flail for the rest of the game, and I have no other choice? If so, cool. Why not? Alright, now we've got the sweet slide. I don't remember if the slide gives me iframes. 
Repose of the Silent One. Okay, so we can ledge grab. We can fall. Controls are pretty normal. Yeah, they've definitely outdone themselves. The animations feel even better somehow. Smoother. Alright, so that's that's how we heal. Resting before a pre-do. Dio? Dio? Will restore your health and flasks. It's the only way to save your progress. On dying, you'll reappear at the last one you visited, and all progress you've made since that point will be lost. I always prefer the ones where it's like, your progress is saved, you just die and get kicked back. Rude. Okay, jump over that. Cannot jump below. I'm going to be taking some damage here. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage here. Okay, I'm just going to wait for this one. No point in it. Yeah, that toss, I, I keep expecting the toss to be a little bit uh, slower. But I don't know. My reflexes right now are currently synced up for, oh, accumulation of guilt. Upon dying, a guilt fragment remains anchored to the world, and the level of guilt rises, reducing the gain of fervor in your defense, but increasing tears of atonement and martyrdom points. Collect guilt fragments to partially recover, or find someone who can rate, who can ease your burden. All right. I kind of wish I didn't have to see this animation every time. Okay. L2 to interact with this. Oh. Oh, no, that did hurt me. Yeah, so the charge attack ain't worth it. Better to just hit the lad. And yeah, stay somewhat far away from him. Because he'll do the jump toss every time. There he goes. See? Actually easy. Requiem Eternum. Eternal Rest, probably? Maybe? Wow, they really are do doing all sorts of these animated cutscenes. You've acquired one martyr mark of martyrdom. Nope, can't do anything else with them. Well, bye. And yeah, they had the lance wound in the side. There's a lot of religious iconography in this one. And I kind of appreciate that it's not just like based in Earth. There are so many animated cutscenes. I was not expecting this. Penitent one, returned from the tomb and walking among the mourners, your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Anunthiada is my name, and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy so that I may address you. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, hailing from the highest of all seats. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. But on this ascending path of penitence, the arch confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. Orospina, the confraternity of embroiderers. Benedicta of the confraternity of endless orison. Odon, of the Confraternity of Salt. Lesmes, 
of the confraternity of incorruptible flesh, all under the dictate of the oldest penitent, the first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. Penitent One, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city, allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches, and finally to the Great Heart. Look for the Guardians. And map. And objectives. Oh boy, we have a lot of them. Okay, it's only going to tell me about three for now. Only by revealing the regrets. Okay, so that's the same thing. Peace out. Wow. They did an absurdly good job with this. Obviously, they're also going... It feels like they're going with a little bit more story. Okay, Veredicto is the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. Its long reach, wide arc, and devastating strength increase the chance of stunning your enemies. In addition, its attacks will generate additional fervor with each strike. It can be empowered by the f by the flame of the sacred incense. Thunder of Mercy, hold down square. Embers of Faith, R1 to activate. What's on fire? Cost me mana, looks like. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do about it, but that's okay. Looks like I get mana back over time. And I can just kind of outreach a lot of enemies. My main fear is that I'm going to... I'm not going to have much for hyper armor here. And so swinging it, I'm going to be putting myself in a bit of an iffy position all the time. On the flip side, I don't know. It's kind of fun to bring, like, a big honking bonk stick into these games. Even if it's at the ed edge of a chain. Attacking and executing enemies fills your fervor bar, which enables you to perform varied and powerful prayers. You can equip them in your inventory. Uh, quick prayer or chant. Combine down plus circle for a powerful prayer. Okay, versus chants. So we don't have any quick verses at the moment. But we do have a chant. Flames of the very earth itself, which inflict fire damage. Alright, we only have so much energy. But that's okay. Those guys are chumps. At some point, I'm going to sit down and probably just, like, dedicate a, a week to streaming my way through Blasphemous 1 and 2. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. You've acquired Tears of Atonement. There's also this up here, but I'm assuming that's, like, a that's some kind of lock that we get access, uh, like an ability that opens that lock later. Those floaty little glowies. I should probably come up with, like, a more official-sounding name for them, but, I don't know, floaty little glowies? It works. Okay. Quick thing I've got to test. Okay, so I can... I can slide through an enemy, but I can't walk through them. I always gotta check how contact damage works in these games. Okay, I've rescued a golden-headed cherubim. And yeah, it seems like most trash enemies get, uh, perma-stunlocked? Perma Stunlocked and knocked back on me. Okay. I don't know if I can roll through that. I'm going to assume once... Once they're out and rolling, I cannot. Oh, how'd I heal? Maybe I heal slowly over time, killing enemies or something. City of the Blessed Name. This doesn't seem like a good place. Okay, it looks like eventually I'll be able to climb those. Can I talk to anybody? Despite the fact that it's the City of the Blessed Name, I mean, they're just chatting in the background, so it doesn't seem like it's that scuffed. A lot of old people, though, I'm noticing. Also, my character's got kind of some cake going on. You can only see it every once in a while, but, like, dude's got a butt. Welcome to my most humble of workshops. 
which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnez is my name. Master sculptor. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes, yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth, in some way? The miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the Most Blessed Lady as my last work of art. Penitent one, I beg you help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes. And I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back, like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. We've acquired the traitor. It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. Okay, visit the sculptor's workshop whenever you want to equip figures in your altarpiece of favors. Each confers powerful benefits onto the penit penitent one and can react in mysterious ways when placed in next to others in the altarpiece. You can increase the number of your slots. Okay. So, increase altarpiece capacity. The altarpiece here, I will wait okay. for you until you... So I'm going to go over kind of some of these. Okay, so let's take a look. So, I don't have too much. But we do have this. Increases physical damage inflicted. Uh, so boosts every single type of weapon. And we have no others. Interesting. And if they interact with each May other... the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. That means synergy bonuses. Yes! I... I'm huge on synergy bo bonuses and A and B options in the in games nowadays. Uh, the more agency I have and the more like kind of control over what my build becomes, the better a game generally feels to me. Wow. Yeah, one hell of a dress. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession. Crime and judgment conceals not but shadows. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth but tears for me, and forgiveness for those of you who seek it. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confession, let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Do you wish to purge yourself of your guilt? As you wish. I will remain behind these scarlet veils, should you need this sacrament. I like how they do the parallax here, to make it seem bigger. We've got, what, four layers kind of running concurrently? To really make it feel, so we've got the one like much more immediate to us, the one with the closer pillars. I, I don't know, it, it works. It really does give that feeling of depth. 
which is often absent in 2D games. This city seems hella cursed. How are people still alive here? Okay, map. Place markers whenever you want. Yeah. Profundo Lamento. Okay. I guess I can go down here. I guess those guys are worth five. Okay, and this statue toss rock. I'm just gonna hit things, just because. Okay, we want to go over here. Can I? No. Eh. Er. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to do that. There he goes. I like the big damage on this flail. It's pretty good. I'll have to come back for that. Oh, hold up. Map? Map. Map. Uh, add a marker. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just manually add a bunch of treasure markers here. But honestly, I can't complain about that. I like the fact that we get those immediately, and it does give a bit greater feeling of, like, this, I am actually mapping out something. Rather than just letting the game handle it for me. That extra reach, too. I don't know. I think I'm going to like this weapon. It's going to be weird. Normally, I go for uh, rapiers or ultra great swords. So I guess this kind of fits the whole ultra great sword thing. Even if not quite. Rock. You can't hit me. I'm too cool for you with my big dumb hat. There's another one. Unfortunately, I can't go up any further. So, never mind on this direction. Let's go the other way. It's, like, really good. I... <laughs> I don't want to complain about it here. Because it's not necessarily something to complain about. If anything, it's it's a good thing. But, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to game releases in the past, like, month. But it's, like, actually overwhelming how many of them have been utterly incredibly good. Oh, I do heal a smidge. I th think. Hard to say. And, like, normally... Uh, I'm, like, looking for one or two games to cover, and then, you know, I'll do, like, a video and say, like, yeah, it was kind of good enough. Uh, I could play more of this, but I don't feel, like, overwhelmingly motivated to do so. I don't think I can do anything with those mirrors. Um, mainly just because, like, eh, how'd I put it? I really like games. But commentating over them can be a bit exhausting, especially if it's not something I'm super keen on. What the heck is this? Sleep, my child. Sleep. No answer. Huh. I think it's a reference to Pieta. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's, um... Ooh, this looks kind of bossy. Ooh. Okay. Right. Slide through him. There we go. If I can. Bile up. This guy is going to be tough. It's this. For the fire. I might as well use those. Marks of Martyrdom. Attacking and executing enemies allows you to earn Marks of Martyrdom. It can be used to upgrade certain characteristics of the Penitent One. Okay, but where do we upgrade them? Oh, I see. As in... Oh, hello. Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? No. Your name is of no consequence. If your footsteps have led you to me, Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment. 
for the steps that my promise inspires are swift, and the will that directs them unshakable. This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. We've acquired a steely battle lance. You now have access to weapon the me weapon memory section in your inventory. Use Marks of Martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the bearer penitence to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. Did I, did I get a spear? No, probably not. Weapon memories. Okay, so Thunder of Mercy. Hold down to charge it. Embers of Faith. We also have Ignition Strike. R1 after an attack on the ground to convert it into a powerful horizontal strike. That turns Veredicto on and off. Okay, R1 to turn off Veredicto, or how's the time required to charge Veredicto? I think I'm going to go for Ignition Strike. So if I hit and then press R1, it charges it up. Now is this like a sprint or something else? Ivy of, Ivy of Ascension. Okay, so we can climb on metal things. Hold down R2 to cling onto these surfaces and not slip. Okay, and we also have the Scratched Lead Sphere. Put rosary beads in your inventory to upgrade characteristics of the Penitent One. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Okay. Increases resistance to all physical damage. Sure. What? Oh. I have to keep sliding. I was like, why is my character just gremlining right there? And there's her answer. Okay, so it looks like these guys can't throw underneath them. So I'll keep that in mind. And I am healing somehow. I'm just not sure exactly by what means. Okay, so I think that means there's a heal up above. Yeah, I might as well go over here. Oh, right, but we had this, but I can't do anything with that yet because we still don't know what those mirrors do. Yeah, no dice. But yeah, so the problem with all of these, like, truly incredibly good releases that I'm staring down the barrel of is that, like, I legitimately want to play through as many of them as I possibly can. And I just can't. And this is going to be, like, a weird sticking point for me for a while. Of just, like, the... I mean, it's the indie apocalypse sort of. Uh, the oversaturation of incredibly good indie games. I don't think his... Oh wait, can I climb? No, I... But I can pop up the wall like a weird gremlin. Works for me. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, Rock Boy can't hit me. I'll have to figure out how to get the... charge to work. I guess we could look at it. Okay, so what is this? R1 after an attack on the ground. Oh, I see. Oh, I just... Ow. Rude. Yeah, I just kind of fired off. Okay, so we do take contact damage from the... Wall statues. But I can't just, like, hang out underneath them. That's not how this works. Okay. Well, I kind of can. Just not comfortably. There we go. But yeah, so it's... I don't know. I don't know necessarily why I'm bringing this up. I think I'm just bemoaning my fate. Because it's just like, do I play Blasphemous? But I've never played, like, Blasphemous 1 to completion. Because I found it frustrating. Uh, it was fun. Like, no doubt about that. But it definitely had a couple of mechanics where I was just like, yeah, I didn't like this. But I've heard from, like, everybody else that, no, it actually really is worth, like, playing through. So it's like, ah. 
And how do how do I fit all of these games in? Why can I not hold all of these games? The meme, but reality. Mirabus of the Return to Port. I wonder if that's just Town Portal. So that actually brings me back down. So let's go back over here because I think I can go up further. We'll take the elevator down in a moment. Sculptor's resident gavel. And then, I guess, yeah, we've kind of come full circle. So, except for that one thing. Let's pop back in. Where is, where are? We're here. Go away, birds. And yeah, let's give the scul sculptor his gav. I think the one big plus is, I think these games are kind of short. Which is, hey, boo. Frey, how can I assist thee? Penitent one. Okay, hand over a tool. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Know that you have my gratitude, Penitent One. Okay. Did we get anything new? Gratitude, but we don't have any more altar pieces. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. But I'm almost, I'm almost kind of hoping, like on a personal level, and I know this would actually probably be bad for me, is I'm kind of hoping the games industry like slows down for just like a month or two, like you know maybe, uh, maybe beginning of next year is just kind of slow for once. And there aren't a whole lot of, like, big releases, so I can go back and say, like, Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to dedicate this entire week to beating uh, Blasphemous. Okay, Sea of Ink. Forgotten Tribute. So here's my question. Can I? I cannot. I like the just subtle, your ankles just snap sound effects. <laughs> well... At least we got whatever that item did. Yeah, I don't know. I I think it's just going to be a, a matter of like constantly retooling how I go about stuff. Uh because I don't think I'll ever like go fully back to let's plays like I used to, but it'd be, it'd be nice to like specifically play through some of my favorites. Or some of the best. It's like I'm so spoiled for choice at this point, it's just kinda like, you know. I, I don't know how much you guys run into this yourselves, but like when I run into a game that's just kind of ho-hum, um, I've now kind of come to this like mental state of just like, why am I playing this? Oh. Ow. Fine. I bonk good. Okay. Good. They're not infinite spawns. We've got the empty receptacle. Uh, that might be for bile? Let me double check. Is there anything else? No. At least not at the moment. And it's, uh... I don't know. It's weird. It's weird having a games industry that is so... Uh, specifically over overloaded, overwhelmed, overwhelming with all of these games. It's like, I don't know, every once in a while there's just kind of like a weird content drought where I'm just kind of like, yeah, nothing's going on. This is a good opportunity for me to go back and like, oh, I can press down an X to speed slide. I'm glad he doesn't just drop, that he instead just holds the sides and just slides down in a cool way. Hello. Dothy wished to make the sacrifice, yes. the skin and red flesh uncover the lie that my shell conceals for I am only blood and bones so allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests do you wish to give an empty receptacle yes now I shall grant thee a new flask yep 
Bring me more vials. Yeah, so I can hurt myself to fill that vial, that chalice for whatever reason. But, and maybe we only need to do that once. But yeah, this is also how we get extra bile flasks. It's Estus. Let's be honest here. Okay, can't open that up. Merchant? Oh, blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. I can't tell which direction this guy is facing, but it looks like he's got an absolutely massive ass and backwards feet. Or are there two of them? I think it's two people. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico, pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. You never know where precious assets may be. What prey can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. Oh, the butt I'm seeing is actually the dude's shoulders and the basket is his head. It took me a long time to figure out how this works. Yeah, so the one guy is just sitting in a chair and the other, the chair is just like being held aloft by a much bigger guy. I get it now. I understand what I'm looking at. It just, it looks like the most caked old man with backwards feet for some reason. But go ahead and Cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination, as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Okay, so creates a bolt of lightning that inflicts lightning damage, or chance of crits when using prayers. Oh, I see. So this is a statue. This is a prayer. I'm going to go for the bolt, bolt of lightning. Until our paths cross again, penitent one. Okay, so that's our quick verse. I should be able to just, like, zap a dude. So still can't do anything with those. And we've got the bell, which I can go dong, but I don't think we can do anything with that either. Let's just continue on. Alright. Ooh. That's effective. Who can play at this big hammer game? Unfortunately, I'm not going to learn any, like, patterns by doing this. That's the one downer. But maybe not learning their patterns and just figuring out how to cheese them is learning their patterns. Like, I always, I, I don't know, I always kind of struggle with that in games. You know, are you truly learning how to master a game if you're cheesing your way through it the whole way? I would argue, yes, but I can see people having a different opinion on that one. Is there anything up here? Or is this just kind of an alternate top route to take out the dagger tosser? Probably that. Uh, can I go down? Yes. Do I want to go down? Sure, why not? Well, ain't getting through that. At least not this direction. This is gonna piss off some things. Okay. That was the flaming hammer trick. Unfortunately... Ow. Unfortunately, I can only do that for so long. The drain on it is pretty intense. On the flip side... Ow. Off this, I didn't mean to do a lightning, but I ain't complaining. Okay. Drops him some lightning. Oh, it stunned him and it actually stopped his sword mid-flight. 
All right, we've got a thousand tears of atonement. Okay, and this just brings me to the other side. Can I go through here? No, we have to reactivate the statue? Really? Odd choice. Oh, it's a really bad time for my Bluetooth to just decide. Okay, now we've more or less caught up to where I was. Yeah, when my, uh... So, apparently I have like an issue with my Bluetooth driver. Uh, and every once in a while things will just disconnect for like a hot second. I'd been assuming it was something with like my previous computer, but I've been having the same issue here as well, so I almost wonder if it's like a Windows desktop driver issue, or I'm just really unlucky, or I have something interfering with it. It's a completely different Bluetooth driver, complete, completely different computer, like nothing should have carried over, uh, but it somehow did. And there we go. There's the guy. But yeah, so uh, when my Bluetooth went kaput, it actually took my... There we go. Uh, when it went kaput, it actually took my whole uh, game with it, too. Like, totally locked up. Super frustrating. Do I actually want to go this direction? Can I go anywhere? Yeah, I, I can go up. I hate contact damage. As the one beef that I'm going to have with this game. It's not that big of a deal, but I just hate it. Contact damage feels so bad. It's just like, oh, this weak flesh man touched you. Die. I do really appreciate that hitting enemies with this just really does roll most things. And that lightning's pretty good. I should probably use the fire a little bit more often too, but I don't know, man. I'm just I'm a I'm just a dude with a face face mace. Saving cherubim and doing things. Oh, he didn't die. He was looking pretty close to dead. You know what? Let's just let's just not. That can wait for later. That room seems special. Or it's just a transitionary zone to this sick as hell reflection in the pond. Lake. Whatever you want to call it. It's really cool. Don't make me fight the ravens. Or crows. Like, I actually really... Wait, you look like an enemy. I really like ravens and crows. I think they're actually some of the coolest animals I don't know necessarily like why I like them so much I just think they're very fun and charming birds ow so don't do that these things on the other hand eh, they don't look so charming okay let's just go up here do we want to be up here this looks sus let's not Like, whenever it's a... Em whenever it's an empty-looking room... There we go. Oh, gosh. The birds came back with a vengeance on that guy. Oh, what? I wasn't aware that I could do that. Okay. You're gonna try the bird trick again. But that's okay. Wow. Freaking dark. Okay, so what's this gonna do? Uh, um. Whoop. Dang. Yeah, it'll be easier if I just take all of these things out so we don't have to even consider them. There we go. That should make this easier. Or I'm still gonna die. I don't know. But 
Got it. I don't... I don't actually know if this is where I want to be. It seems like everything here is kind of genuinely just bad. Just bad and maybe... I mean, probably fine to explore. Ooh, big ups on the hammer. It attacks down. Oh, you're an enemy. You looked interesting enough to not be an enemy. Ow. Okay, so I can do some damage to Sir Pukes, Pukes a bunch. Alright. Oh, I can finish him off. Ooh, cool execution move. I stumped him. I was not expecting I'd be able to flatten a man that large. And yet, I have succeeded. We are now in the Crown of Towers. Where, where is this? Where are we? Where have we gone? Is there a fast travel? Not to my knowledge, but the music is rad. Like, there's nothing quite like Blasphemous. Obviously, there's tons. Whoa, whoa. Homing Bird Wizard. Whoop. Ow. And now we have two of them. In short succession. Yeah, I can't do an air dodge. Which is probably not the greatest for me. Oh. So they do have the roll. I wonder if they're actually identical to the other bird ball that I fought earlier. I just, they never use the roll. Yeah, see, this is my fear. Some of these enemies I cannot stun, and that's going to be a bit of an issue. Only a bit of one. Uh, it means I'm going to have to be much more careful about what I attacks, what attacks I use and where. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of be on a tour of zones. I'm not really interested in uh, <laughs> progressing too aggressively in any one specific area. It's mostly just kind of like, a, huh, where does this take me? What does this zone look like? What are the enemies like? Let's continue on. I mostly don't want to get stuck in a boss fight. I'm already there on Assassin's Creed. Or Assassin's Creed. God damn it. Armored Core 6. I really got to break that out of my head. I've never played an Assassin's Creed game. Yet for some reason, it owns AC in my, in my brain. Which, really, it should be Armor Class. All things considered. There we go. Oop. Yes. Feel the lightning in your face. Now where are we? Where are we going? This is kind of loose back. Drink the last of our bile. I mean, if we die, so be it. That's a dead end. So it almost feels like uh, there. Was, I just took one of two alternate paths. Oh, wait. Do I not have to hold right trigger? Oh, yeah, I just have a wall trick. Wall kick. For whatever reason, I was under the impression that I had to... Oh, it's R2 to hold on long term. Up, grabbing the ledge. Uh, yeah. I might as well heal. I can refight every enemy we've seen thus far, but I cannot go that direction. There we go. Huh. Girl lady doesn't look behind herself. Useful to note. Yeah, the reach on this ball is just... It cannot be understated how convenient that is. The fact that I can womp an enemy that's like on the under, underside of a platform. I'm sure I'd be having trouble with those twin swords. I was tempted I was tempted to pick them up if only because... Uh, you know, quick attacks means like attack, dodge, attack, dodge, 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 you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you look like a lad. 
Whoop. He... He comes bearing gifts of fire. Okay. Cannot roll through him either. He too big. He got too much leg. Okay. I got greedy there. It's easy to do hit and run. Trying to actually go toe to toe with his attacks. Duh, out full if it's good. I got a mark of martyrdom. So mid boss of sorts. Alright. Anything else? Got one of these. Oh, uh, but I should go kill that bird first. Guess I gotta wait for that platform to reform. Hopefully there's not another one of those birds. Oh, there's a roly boy. Actually, I can't get up there anyway. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I cannot get up there. That's okay. We've been here before. Is this Yeah, this is this is the room we took earlier. So we kind of came full circle. Yeah, so shall I just go back from whence I came? Sure. I don't know. Unfortunately, this this specific region is not the most interesting. It's just kind of sad forest. It's beautiful. Like, every single square inch of this game is just so lovingly rendered uh, in pixel art that would put, like, how would I describe it? AAA, a long time ago, more or less said, pixel art was no longer going to be viable. And we pretty much went from pixel art to kind of pixely 3D models, which, you know, I can't really blame uh, AAA for doing. Uh, I know they're not a monolith monolithic entity, but for the most part, like, once the PlayStation 1 and N64 hit, high tier, um, high tier pixel art just went away. It, it just wasn't worth doing for most big studios. Um, probably because it took a lot of time and effort and it was hard to animate. And the tools were, the tools weren't there. But also, um, even on the, on a like more basic level, 3D was very marketable. People were used to pixel art, but 3D was new. And so, yeah, every big studio just went all in. You had like a couple of, you had like a couple of standout uh, exceptions. There we go. I'm mostly thinking like um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and like obviously a bunch of games on the Game Boy Advance and DS and whatnot, but on the flip side, those were... I don't want to say exceptions exactly, uh, but like handhelds just didn't have the power. Oops, I could have done an execution. Let's see, do we actually have anything down here? I'm curious if there's any like secret walls that I need to keep my eye out for. But alas, doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, but there's a cherubim in there. I almost missed that one. Okay. And we haven't actually found a checkpoint in the area. Well, it certainly ain't that. Right? How the heck do you get through to that one? Oh, you know what? You take the elevator from below and it opens that, that door. That's got to be what it is. Oh, is this a fast travel room? I was wondering when we'd get this. Where am I? I'm up above. Oh. That's really cool. The perpetual sign of a, a good Metroidvania is when you find a room, you go into it, and all of a sudden you're some uh you've kind of connected two disparate areas. Oh, this is creepy. Yep. 
honestly creepy. Uh, gosh, what else was I even going to say about any of this? I don't know. Uh, just generally admiring what they've done with this one. Blasphemous will always remain that that uh, series of Metroidvania that I like desperately want to play more of. Whenever I get the opportunity to do so, and whenever that uh, opportunity presents itself, it might be a while before I actually get to that point where I can sit down and be like, yeah, this week is just Blasphemous week. But it'll happen. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. For now, at least, I, I, I'm i going to leave it here. I, I wish I could play more, but I've got so many other things that I need to record. So many different contractual obligations and just other cool indie games that I should feature. Rather than just picking one specific one. Uh, but uh, I guess for now, at least, one last shout out to Good Old Games for sending me a copy of this game. And I should mention that, of course, Blasphemous 2 is available on that platform. And not just, you know, Steam and... Maybe consoles? I'm assuming it's on uh, PlayStation, Xbox, but I haven't looked. Uh, it feels like it would be a good Steam Deck and or Switch game, to be honest. But maybe that's just because I played a lot of my like old pixel art platformer games on my Game Boy Advance, and it feels like uh, the Switch and the Steam Deck pretty much are a good good replacement for that. Uh, but if you're picking it up on PC, maybe consider good old games for once. Just because. Look, I got a shell for them. They're lovely people. But... With all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.